Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is on how to look like your skin has a filter permanently in photos. But sometimes in photos, what can look really great doesn't always look that amazing in real life. But we want to kind of combine the both so that you look fabulous in photos and amazing in real life. At the beginning of this year, I went to a seminar, a makeup seminar. Now, I can't get enough of them. I just want to learn. I want to be like a sponge and absorb everything that I can get my hands on. So, Sonia and Pfizer had a, were hosting a makeup seminar. And you will probably know who she is, you should do. And there she is. And you can find her information in the uh, description bar below. Now, i had been following for a long, long time. So it only made sense that I went along and had a look and see what it was all about. And her photos, they are phenomenal. And they all look like they've been retouched, but they haven't. So at this seminar, I thought I would sit down and I would just absorb everything that I could get my hands on. In fact, I love the seminar so much that I have recently just contacted her and asked her if I can hire her so that I can learn from her first time because it was that inspiring. The end result was phenomenal. So you can see these pictures. Now, none of these pictures that you're seeing here have been retouched. I know, it makes you sick, doesn't it? The talent that some people have. And I wanted to know how this is achieved. Um, basically, what I'm gonna call it is buffing. That's what I'm gonna call it. She probably has a totally different name for it. And let me also kind of say something that her level of talent is beyond things that I've seen before, particularly considering I believe she's only 22. So that talent level is off the charts. And what happened was I was just sat there with my little notepad making all these notes. And she did the foundation and concealer under eye highlighting and contouring and you know, and then she set it with a loose powder, I believe, and a powder puff and just set it, used a beauty blender sponge and, you know, left it under the eyes. And then she got to doing some powder bronzer and highlighter, powdered highlighter and blusher. And I was thinking, okay, okay, I know all of this. And then she did the strangest thing. I believe she took a pressed powder. It may have been loose, so I don't suppose it really matters. And she'd done all this work on the face. She took a pressed powder, whatever, and started to buff the skin. And I was thinking, oh my God, that's too much product. She's already done foundation and concealer and contouring and she's adding more powder. It's gonna look hideous. And I was thinking, all I could think about the whole time was, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And it looked amazing on the screen, but all I was thinking is when I get to it in real life, it's gonna look like that much of makeup. And the makeup was complete. And I walked over and her mother was sat behind me. She was like, you're writing a lot. And I was thinking, cause I was writing every single thing down because I wanted to remember, I wanted to learn from this. And her mother is just, anyway. So I went up to the, um, the stand and the gorgeous model was there. And I just looked at this face and I was thinking, it looks like makeup, but it doesn't look thick. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It was the most amazing thing. And then we took a photo. And I was thinking the whole time, oh my God. And then I had a conversation with her afterwards um, uh, over, over text. And she was like, it's this buffing motion, this consistent buffing into the skin of this powder. You're buffing it into the skin. You're basically buffing it away. And this powder almost acts like a, like a filter. And it was the most amazing thing. Now, I am absolutely terrified of texture. So, and half of my clients are over 45 years old. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna try this technique. But so I was specifically made, um, used the lightest foundation I could find, which was Makeup Forever Face and Body. And I used HD concealer. And then I did the same thing. I set with loose powder and I applied um, the rest of the powder products. Then I took a pressed powder and my brush I buffed it into the skin like you wouldn't believe. It didn't add any more layers. It didn't look any more powdered than it did when I first started powdering it. But it photographed like a bloody dream. I've never seen anything like it before. The way that this radiates off the camera, off the flash, is beyond your wildest dreams. 
So that's the tip. Once you've done your makeup and set it with loose powder, you don't have to like throw a load on, but you know what I mean, you set your makeup. Do the rest of your powder products and then start the buffing process. See what it looks like in pictures because these pictures are real, they're not retouched. I'm not paid to mention this, by the way, in case some of you are like, I'm not paid, it, these are my own thoughts. As far as the seminar goes, I truly learned, that's why I'm hiring her, I truly learned more in those two hours that I was there than I did at my entire time when I was taught makeup at a school. And I was self-taught, then went to a school, didn't really find it all that interesting. And I learned more about photography and how to make things look wonderful than I did when I was spending time in London um, training. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen and I was just blown away by it and inspired by it and hence wanting to learn more and I just want to absorb everything I can which is, you know, I don't want to steal her techniques. And one of the best things I think about the class was that she was so open about this is what I'm doing. And it was and a thing I thought I'd like to kind of point out is that it isn't a comedy class. You're not going there to see a stand-up comedian. I cannot stress if you want to go and learn you will learn all the techniques. A lot of other makeup artists who are doing these things are, are, are teaching their classes and then saying, don't talk about them, don't write about them, don't tell anybody anything. Ridiculous. She just wants to teach and show what she can do and I think that that's something to be admired. The class is very, very um, well put together but it's very, very straightforward. There's not lots of small talk or anything like that. You're just there to learn and she's incredibly shy. I, I, very, very shy, very, very humble and kind and sweet, but shy. Who cares? It was one of the first things I noticed about her and one of the first things that actually made me love her because she was so shy and lovely. I love that about somebody. So, wonderful class and I just learned so much and that's the technique, the buffing technique, we are calling it just buff. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going on now, this is a long video for me. I do apologize. Absolutely worth the money. Wonderful class, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful learning experience. An absolutely delicious mother who I just, mwah. Anyway, there you go. Give it a try, see what you think, see how it feels, and let me know what the results are because to me, when I see pictures and took pictures and I see them like this, knowing that they've not been filtered, they've not been touched, they've not been messed with, that's how you do it. And I've wondered all this time, and I've been doing it for years. This is how. Amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.